Welcome to Violin Adventures number 124. We're going to jump right into that ancient violin and see what we find. While we wait for the glue to heat up and be ready, I am working on this top. I took out their little patch that was sitting on the top. And sure enough, we have worm damage right in here, right where the sound post is. So I'm going to continue to kind of scrape this down and then work on a nice patch. When I am working on this, supporting the back side, I can feel that the top side is moving. What was different about this violin is most of the patches were in really well and a lot of times they'll just pop off they weren't fit real well or the glue is, is just too old but these patches were really in well so we got most of the patches out now so i guess what i'll do is i'll measure this whole area where the sound post patch needs to go and that way i can determine where the patch will go and how thick the patch will be. So the good thing is that this crack on the sound post side is in a little deeper than where the sound post will be. So that's good. Look at that, we're digging up worms. We're digging up worms. Mm. I think there's a bunch of holes under here. Here we go. We are uncovering so much worm damage. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to come in closer? You can see here, we're uncovering more worm damage. And this crack, it goes all the way through. The wood in this area is just bouncing and you can see right here we're getting another we're getting another hole look at this that came through and got glued shut you see right in here all this powder from the worm chewing away. <sighs> okay, so we've got to scout out the wormholes and um, take care of them. We don't want to cover them up. Okay, so I see this crack right running along this wormhole and it moves. So it could be that the worm hole goes all the way through here. And here's another one coming out. I hope you all can see this. Look at that worm right there. We've got more worm damage here. I was going to stop, but... Looks like we gotta keep going. There we are, another another tunnel. And this here's another tunnel here. Well, I better see if this is gonna continue down.
Okay, we seem to be fine on the side here. It's just right in here. The sound post sits right in here, so that's where they all congregated. So now we need to find out how thick we've got this now, maybe down to a millimeter, let's see. So one and a half, and there's two around here, so that's good, we can go deeper on this. This one is continuing down. Okay, here's a straight on look. This is the area of the sound post patch. We took the old patch off, which was just sitting on the top, and I dug down to inlay a patch properly, and this is what we found. Okay, after I turned the, the camera off, I went ahead searching down here to see how far this would go and this. This seems to have stopped maybe. This one, as far as I can tell, stopped right here. But there was a lot of other stuff in here, so... I don't know, was this the nursery? Who knows? But this one came all the way down to here and then one beside it. So at this point, I'm going to clean this up, fill these first with wood, real wood, and then we'll see about inlaying the patch. But we've got to take care of this first. And I want you to know this one here goes all the way through. Okay, I've got some of the pieces ready to be fit. So we'll glue these in. Okay, we're back at it. I'm going to take these clamps off. And what we'll do now is take down all of these little, all these tiny pieces of wood, filling up all those wormholes. Okay, I've taken down these filler pieces. There's a little bit more I want to finish here. Um, but I tapped this and you can hear the difference. Okay, there's still more that needs to be done in this section, but this has much stronger tone now. Um, before it was so weak. It has tone, but it was so weak. So we've got strength in the tone, which is good. Then we're going to fit a really good sound post patch to bring this all together. I've been spending a long time working on this patch, sound post patch. And because I don't, I want this to be a wood to wood patch with no pockets of glue in there and so many times when I take a sound post patch off there may just be a pocket of glue in there and that defeats the whole purpose because we're trying to uh, not only be there's the fall defeats the purpose if you have a layer of glue in there of course that layer is going to dry out and then you're going to have a pocket of air so you're not supporting the top at all and we are trying to fix a crack and support it completely and also keep the vibrations going and when you have a pocket of air in there that's going to stop the vibrations anyway.
next week work on the base bar and putting in the cleats for the old cracks that are there. Okay, here we are at, this is the button that we added, the maple support that we added here on the back um, in order to support the very fragile button. And the button is very dry and fragile. So I'm going to put it on here. Let's take a peek outside. Okay, can you hear it? It is really windy, very, very windy. But you can see beautiful skies. Okay, so our, I've been working on fitting the sound post patch to this top that is riddled with worm holes. And so where I'm at right now, let's see how thick it is. We're around one millimeter. So that's good, so I can put in this patch and then take it down to the proper thickness. Okay. We'll let that uh, dry overnight and then tomorrow we hope to take it down tap it see how it's sounding and if everything's good then we can work on the new violin okay now while this is drying we'll do a little bit of work on our new violin taking the clamps off Okay, with the clamps off, my next job is to go around to make sure that I like the edging overhang. And right now there's a couple spots where I want to take it down just a little bit so that we all even, so that we can prepare for inlaying the purfling. Okay, here we are the next morning taking off the clamps. So there's our patch. And we'll take down this patch and blend it into the violin.
Okay, here we are looking for a really nice bass bar for this old violin. And I've been saving this one. This one is special because the grains are nice and close. And it's an older piece of wood, but not too old. And I think this would go perfectly with this older violin. Well, here we are. Friday afternoon, everything is calm and still. Yesterday we had so much wind. Today is just beautiful. Why don't we go down and check out the creek? Well, here's our creek. It's down low and it's flowing. There's the water rustling along. Look at that beautiful sky, the beautiful blue with the fluffy white clouds. Look at all these pine cones. I think I'll help them come off a little bit. Okay, here's the shop. Let's zoom in to the first table. There we've got the new violin all closed up. And here's the scroll. I've been working on the neck and just cleaning it up. So it's getting there. Needs a little more work. The next thing we need to do is get the purfling in. So we'll see if we get that far this week. Here's our ancient violin from the 1600s, and we now have the patch in. We've got a good tone coming out, and I found some nice, good wood that we're going to use here for the base bar. And so this week we hope to fit that base bar and then cleat up the cracks that need to be cleated, although the cracks are really looking good at this point. And here's the reherring station. It's quiet at the moment. This is the grinding and polishing station. Here I will polish your frog if, if it is getting tarnished. Shine it up, make it look good. Under here I have all kinds of polishing supplies for the violin uh, varnish. Over here is the brushes for varnish and the hair for reherring and that hair needs to come from wild horses in order for it to be strong enough and have good tone quality. The Hebrew Minute. Vahashem Bahekal Kadisho Has Mipanaiv Kol Haaretz. Hashem, or the Lord, is in his holy sanctuary or temple. Hush, or keep silence before him all the earth. Freddie wants to chat. Hi, hi, I, I, I'm Freddie, and I, I'm so excited. I, I'm so happy. Uh, all my friends are, are sending in pictures of what they're working on, so I, I'm trying to be calm, but I, I want to put them on the video and surprise everybody. So here we go. I, I'm going to put them in the video, and then I'm... I'm going to try to talk about the projects on the video. So this, this will be the first time I do this. So thank you everyone for sending in your projects. And if some of you 
have more projects, go ahead and send them in because I can put them in the next video too. But thank you very much. Bye. Okay, y'all, Freddy was so excited, and then he remembered that he can't read, and so he asked me to take over. I hope y'all don't mind. So this photo is sent in from Cosmin. He has more projects he's working on, which he'll be sending to us in a week or two. But this is a pair of candlestick holders made from cherry. The original material was supposed to be a long fireplace mantle, but it twisted very badly during drying. And so the lumber yard sold it to him for a very good price. And now he can make candlestick holders and furniture feet. These are sent in from Faye. This is a quiet book that she made for her grandson. And then she also has made a casserole cover and some pot holders. Thank you for sending in these pictures. These pictures were sent in from Tim. The electric motor is for his overhead line shaft. It shows the two inch wide flat wooden pulley and the red cast iron pulley that will power the shaft. The old violin is a past project of his wife's great grandfather and the maple violin back is for his third violin. The violetta is being carved from the solid maple and is loosely based on the instrument of Caterina de Vigri. She was born in 1413 in Italy. Nathan sends in these pictures showing his room, which is getting redone. They took out all the panels and they're adding new drywall and new insulation and even a new window. He's hoping his room will be much warmer now. Nathan and Abigail send in a picture of a little bird that needed help. They were able to feed the bird and then get it back to its mother who received it and is now taking care of it. Thank you to everyone for all your wonderful projects. Thank you for sending them in. Thank you so much for watching and for your wonderful comments. Thank you to the new subscribers and thank you to all of you that give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.